Hello everybody, welcome. My name is Dr. Felix and in today's video we are going to go over five acupuncture acupressure points that are amazing tools to help relieve migraines uh, and just help also prevent them. Uh, so the five points are GB20, GB40, GB34, LI4 and LR3. All right, let's get going. The first point, GB20, is located at the base of the skull. So let me turn around so you all can see. So the best way to find this point is really, really simple. You're going to clasp, clasp your fingers together, put them at the, uh, the back of your head, and then you're going to use your thumbs to find the point, okay? So you're going to start your thumbs at the bones behind your ears, okay? So these longer bones go down behind your ear and then find those bones and then come up a little bit and then move towards the center or the middle of your head until you find a bit of a depression so it's going to sink in a little bit that is your point GB20 so to massage that point what you do is you're going to press for eight seconds and you should apply a relatively firm pressure. It shouldn't be just a little bit. It probably is best if you apply pressure to the point of slight discomfort. Then after eight seconds, you can release for two seconds and then you can apply pressure again. It most probably will feel sore, especially if you're having a migraine. So go easy, you know, don't make it worse, but you definitely need to apply quite a bit of pressure to do an appropriate massage. Another eight seconds, and then you can release for two seconds, and you can do that for a total of three minutes, like every uh, acupuncture point. Next, we're gonna talk about GB40. Okay, GB40, gallbladder 40, is found on the foot. So what you'll wanna do is best if you take your socks off and then you'll find that bump bone here on the side of your foot and then you're gonna bring it down a little bit and then like in my case I can even see the tendon right here but if you can't see it that's fine you're just gonna go down the bone until it's basically it's and inferior end and then you're gonna bring your finger a little forward and so, and then you'll find a depression right there. And that is your point GB40, okay? So it's a little bit down and forward. There's a depression. You should feel behind that depression a tendon. So it'll feel like maybe like a string. And then that's your point GB40 right there. For the next point, LR3, liver three, it's going to be on the foot once again, okay? So you're going to first find, which shouldn't be very hard, um, the intersection between your big toe and your second toe. So go right here in the middle, and then you're going to slide your finger up for probably about three inches, and then that is your point. LR3. Now this one is a little harder to find because there's no true easy landmark um, but you have to imagine that after the junction where you, where you can see your toes there are still long uh, cylindrical bones in your foot before the smaller bones of the foot right here. So you need to be between that first big toe um, shaped like a cylinder bone and then that second one right here so you want to come right about here between the first and second um, metatarsal bone and then once again pressure for eight seconds and then you'll just release that for two seconds and then you can go back to it. You can use one finger, two fingers. Um, I prefer just one finger because it's more precise. And then 
That's it for LR3. All right, our next point is GB34, okay, gallbladder 34. That point, again, is uh, or might be a bit challenging to find, but we'll make it simple here. So on the side of your, of your shin, there's the tibia, right, that runs more midline, and then on the side, there's the fibula, which is a smaller bone. And if you run your hand up or your thumb up, you'll end up at a, a bony part. That's the head of your fibula. I want you to start right there. If we do it on the right side, you're going to use your thumb, and you're going to put the uh, middle part here or the interior part of your knuckle here right on that bone, okay? facing down and forward and then just in front of the bone there's a little depression and it's as simple as that that is GB 34 now in my case is really really sore okay so again eight second pressure once you're done just release two seconds and then you can do it again. As a matter of fact, you also should be doing those on both sides. Then once you're done with the eight seconds, you can release again and again for this one, just like every point, you can do it for up to three minutes. Okay, so again, you run your hand up, find the bone here, that's the fibular head then you're going to put your thumb on it, the middle portion of your thumb, and then just drop your thumb in front of it, down a little bit, so anterior, inferior, a little bit. There's a depression right there. To the side of that depression is going to be your tibia. You don't want to be on the tibia. You want to be right in the depression. That is GB34. Okay, our last point is LI4, lower intestine 4. This point is found on the hand. Okay, so what you're going to do is very very simple okay use your ring finger you're gonna put it right on top of that first knuckle of your index finger and then you're gonna use your index finger and then you're gonna put it at the base of your wrist then using your middle finger you're just gonna drop it in between those and slide it down a little bit below that first metacarpal bone that first cylindrical shaped bone of the fingers and then that point is right there LI4 it very very probably will be sore in my case it is and again just like all of them 8 second pressure 2 second release you can do that again for a total of 3 minutes so again ring finger on the first knuckle index finger on the base of the wrist and then middle finger in the middle, drop it just below the metacarpal, and then it's right there. Super simple. Don't go too low. Don't go in the mushy mushy. The mushy mushy, that's, that's not where the point is. You want to go a little higher than that, okay? You should feel the bone a little bit, but don't go on top. Just go below it. All right. Thank you for watching this uh, acupuncture, acupressure point uh, tutorial guide to. Uh, I'm by no means an uh, acupuncturist, but uh, I just know it's helped me in a ton of patients really help deal with the migraines and such. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you so much.